Hi, I'm Josh Blakely with Investigative Training, bringing you another surveillance co-pilot tip. A lot of investigators like to um, keep their camera steady in their car by use of a tripod or some other type of uh, setup with a video tripod head. Uh, my preference is um, to use different parts of your car, different perches within your car, and a beanbag. And so let me just get right into it here, show you various positions for the various windows of your car. Here, this first one is uh, filming out the front window. She's got her elbows on the fleshy part of her legs as opposed to the bony elbows on the bony uh, knees. And this will help take out engine vibration should you have to run your engine, although I rarely do. It's two points of contact. You can have a third point of contact if uh, you put your eye up to the viewfinder. Some investigators prefer that. I don't because I like to be able to quickly put the camera at any angle. And having the LCD screen helps do that. Here is another position for the front window. This is one of my favorites. I like to film underneath the top part of the steering wheel. This whole steering wheel mechanism is up in its highest position. The camera's on a bean bag as you can't put the camera on the hard plastic. Or at least you can't let it go if you have it on the hard plastic. Here you actually let the camera go. Having your camera in this position is great for keeping aware of your surroundings. If you're holding your camera up high, you're focused on the subject in the viewfinder. If it's down on something, you can... Um, Turn your attention to anything around your car. Also, if you're driving a rental car, a car with very little or no tint, this is a great position concealing your camera underneath that steering wheel somewhat um, and not have people seeing exactly what you're doing because your hands look like they're on your steering wheel. It's a natural position. Here's another position. It keeps This is great for keeping your camera back from that front window, that normally untinted front window cameras on a beanbag which is on a plastic tool box. I have equipment put in the toolbox and that I set on top of the armrest of the console area. You can set it here, let it go. You can film out any number of windows uh, with this setup provided that it's a high enough toolbox. Now this is, uh, this is a little bit dangerous of a perch for your camera because um, it's very close to the front window so it's very easily seen and also you have to be very mindful of the heat on your camera that front window puts a lot of heat on the dash but it's a great fast position if you have you have to stop your car quick get somebody at a very long distance um, put your camera on a beanbag on your dash and there you go you're all you're all set make sure nobody's walking close to the front of your car when you have it on this in this position now here's a uh, classic driver's side window position elbows on the knees with the legs up on uh, something uh, also another favorite position of mine because i have long legs is to put the camera right on my knee and often i do this with the beanbag as well for extra um, steadiness but most people have to put their leg up high on something to be able to film like that. Now here's my invention. This is very very fast. Four suction cups on a drink holder that is designed for as a drink holder for a boat and I put a top on there where we're angled up slightly and um, this compensates for the inward angle of the window and I have the camera on a small bean bag on top of that. You can just let the camera go this is a great position you can put anywhere on the window. It's very fast setup because I just slap it onto the window and I pull it off within a half of a second so that when your subject gets up and goes, you're ready to go to no big taking down of a tr tripod, folding its legs, all that stuff. Here's a position out the side window, um, either on or off with the headrest, doesn't matter. Tilt the seat forward for the front side window, tilt it back for the back side window and um, that is a rock solid steady perch for your camera and um, 
you can get up very high if you put the headrest on there and jack the headrest up too so if you have to film through a crack in your window if you want extra clarity now this is a great position for those people who have uh, sore backs from sitting all day it's you just tilt the seat down lay on your stomach put the beanbag on your rear seat with or without the headrest depending on the configuration of the seat and the height that you need but uh, all these positions are perfect for speed and the beanbag also can take out a lot of engine vibration um, if you do need to run your engine although I rarely do stacking about three ba bean bags on top of each other can virtually reduce all engine vibration um, but 99% of the time I film without it the engine on I just sweat it out but join us at www.investigativetraining.org for more free surveillance tips and also some paid downloads